good y'all mark trying to turn to fit so just had this conversation with this uh one of my partners over in california so what we're doing i know y'all can't see my face it's kind of dark and hell is hot but what we're doing putting together something big we're working on something really big and i'm gonna be honest with you i love health and wellness i love fitness and i'm telling you this thing we're putting together is it's not a system it's a movement it's something that i don't see a lot of coaches and trainers talking about and I've been talking to a couple of people I know that are coaches and trainers, and I'm telling you, they're like, yo, man, this thing's going to be hot. And the reason why I know it's going to work is because it's changing the way we deal with clients. It's changed the way the clients deal with the coaches, and it's changed the way coaches deal with clients. It's about getting away from this baby mentality and stop babying people and basically learn how to evolve beyond just coaching in a gym just coaching in a um, environment because you have a lot of options now. I go, like I've told you, if you pay attention to my older videos, is to help 100,000 people get in the best shape and optimize health for their lives. Every mission is different when it comes to each coach. Each coach has a purpose. We all gonna make money. M money will be made, okay? You work a job, you're gonna make money. You will not work for free. I said, the thing is, the money we use helps to evolve the business and it helps to evolve what we can do for our clients. That's the one thing I've always took into consideration with my clients is giving back to my clients. Because if they do good, I feel good, they feel good, and I feel like it's my responsibility to do more for those clients. So if you're a coach or a trainer, what I need to do for you, not what you can do for me, is what I can do for you. Is I wanna reach out to those that really know why they're doing this, why they help people. If your purpose is wholesome, because at the end of the day, if it's not wholesome, it ain't worth it. You just might as well just get your gym membership, say you got your nice certificate and do the same crap you're doing right now. It's a lot of people out there trying to sell systems that are not even coaches trying to sell me on stuff and I'm like yo show them what you got and it's the same cookie cutter bullshit that's out there with everything else the reality check is this if you don't love people and if you don't care for people you're never going to win in this business and people are not going to respect you but what you need to understand is this get your mind right coaches get your mind right clients get your mind right because I'm telling you right now you can't sell yourself cheap on your health and your wellness you can't do it because if you try to find cheap, you will receive cheap. But if you're willing to pay the price, and I'm not saying astronomical prices, every person has a different level of qualifications. Understand that this is life in general. Everybody has a different level of qualifications. It don't matter if you're black, right, white, Puerto Rican, Asian, it don't, I don't care. The thing is, get your health right. This is the beginning parts of it, that mindset. If the mindset ain't right to make things happen, you'll never do anything. But ultimately, what it comes down to is this. You may need somebody to put their foot in your ass. <laughs> That's what it really comes down to. You may need somebody to put their foot in your ass in order for you to get to where you need to be at. Because once you understand this concept, and once you understand that people really want to help you, look, I, have, I don't mind letting go of clients. But one thing about it is I love working with the clients that are willing to help themselves. Once you can understand that, and once you understand that the energy that you give is the energy that you receive, then you will be better off understanding that people are willing to help you win when it comes to your health and wellness goal. But that's not the end of it. Here's the ultimate goal. In my case, the ultimate goal is that once you hit your goal, once you receive what you're supposed to be doing, once you take in responsibility for your actions and you actually win at your health and wellness goals, your responsibility is to pay it forward to the next person. I'm not saying you have to become a personal trainer. You need to become a beacon of hope. You need to become a guide to that other person or hundreds of people around you. It could be your family, it could be your friends, but if you do that for them, what you've been through and what you've achieved, and they will see the achievement and they will respect you more because you actually went through something and did not quit. That's why I told you before, I'm willing to spend my last time in my business in order to help the people I want to help. But look, this damn alarm about to come on, March on the turn to fitness. Hey, y'all have a blessed night. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Stay up. Stay up. No excuses. Let's get it in. Talk to y'all soon.